YouTube. This is Keep Funny. I'm bringing you the LG Optimus F7 with root. Let me go to the main point of this. The reason why you clicked on this is just to show you that it is rooted and you can have root. Okay, there you go. Now, what I need to explain to y'all is if you root the phone, you cannot, I repeat, cannot uninstall anything on the phone unless you install a custom recovery and the custom kernel. And the custom kernel is built to give you the access to do that. And the custom kernel was built by, I don't know his name, but I'll have the link in the description. Uh, guy for AndroidForums.com. Thank you. But anyway, gives you the access to uninstall apps without it throwing its security lock and not booting up the phone. Because the phone does have a lock bootloader. That to me is the only reason why I would say the S3 is better. Because the S3 is easier to custom, you know, custom ROMs and everything like that if you're into that stuff. Uh, you can root it and not worry about this because it's not, it doesn't have a lock bootloader. But unfortunately for us, the LG Optimus F7, it has a lock bootloader, but it's still a hell of a phone. Um, I don't regret the phone at all. I love, I love the phone. I've had an S3 with at and Go phone. I sold it to get this. And they're the same, man. Like, the clock at the same speed. They, they both have the same S4 processors in them. Um, the S3 has the 2 gigabyte of RAM, but I don't notice the difference between the two, man. I have all the apps I had on my S3 are on my F7. And it's still just smooth, man. I mean, it's just, I mean, you just saw how stupid smooth that was. I mean, it's no lag to the phone at all. I love the phone. You know, and this is, this is coming from somebody that's not a fanboy. This is coming from somebody that realized that if you want a good Android phone, you got to spend the dough, man. You got to spend the cash. It's just how it goes. Um, so, leave you with, with that. All the information right there will be in the link in the description showing you how to root and install that custom recovery and that custom kernel. Now, really, there's no point in rooting if you're not going to uninstall anything. If you're not going to uninstall anything and, you know, like that, then I don't see the purpose in rooting unless you are going to uninstall everything then you have to, and I repeat, you have to install the custom recovery in the custom kernel. You have to install that. There's no way around it. That's how it is. Until somebody figures out a way to unlock the bootloader for the F7, we're stuck with that. But hey, that's good. The fact that it has that right now shows that there's people interested in the device, in this device, I mean, and Pretty soon it should be some stock ROMs or probably even some custom, some CM10s, you know, real heavy ROMs built from source, you know. So that's good. Uh, I can't wait. I love the phone regardless of if it gets a custom ROM or not. Um, I'm not really into it, stuff like that. But the only reason why I, I rooted mine was because I don't like mobile ID. I don't like boot zone and all that other crap I don't use Google Plus I don't read Google Books and Play Magazine and all that so I got that stuff uninstalled which I don't see why they don't have that stuff uninstalled anyway I mean if you won't play Google Play Magazine you should be able to go in the Play Store and install it if you want it I don't know why it's on there and you can't take it out I mean I, I don't know but hey it is what it is. Anyway, if you want to know more about the phone, I can and will do a full detailed review on everything on the phone, like the screen, the um, camera, 
heck, um, anything. Doesn't really matter. Just leave the comments below and let me know what you want to know about the phone. Uh, this is my third day with the phone, and I love it. Uh, I haven't had any issues with the phone or anything like that. Um, I will say that people are saying some are having GPS issues with the phone. If you are, sorry, I'm not having that issues. Um, I don't know if that's hardware related or if that's just sprint in your area, but the uh, best thing I would say do is buy it like Radio Shack or Best Buy or even Walmart. Buy it somewhere where you can return it and get your money back or return it and get another device. So that way it's not, you know, it's less hassle and it's just easier. I mean, that, that's how I'm just saying it. But anyway, guys, leave them comments. Let me know what kind of what you want reviewed on the phone. And also, I will have a link showing you how to root, custom recovery, custom curl. And then you can do whatever you want with the F7. Alright, peace.